Good morning YouTube! This is the first tutorial video for the iPhone application development series. Uh, before you can actually do any iPhone development, you're going to need to download and install the SDK for the iPhone and iPad and all of the different iEverything devices from Apple. And it's free software, so you don't have to worry about that. It is a bit time-consuming to download, uh, so allocate uh, three or four hours uh, for your computer. Uh, depending upon your uh, bandwidth uh, and how fast your internet connection is, it may or may not take three or four hours, but uh, on average, it's a four-gig file that you're downloading, so on average, it does take a lot of time. Uh, so, you know, maybe uh, pick a time in which uh, you don't have too much going on on your computer. Uh, maybe do it at, start it at night or something of that nature. Um, so, in order to uh, get your uh, software installed, you're going to need a Mac. This will not run on any other type of computer operating system other than a Mac. I recommend using a MacBook Pro. You want to have a pretty fast processor because uh, Xcode is a bit time consuming. You're also going to want a lot of disk space, um, an 80 or above hard drive uh, is preferred. So. In terms of what you're going to do, you're going to go and uh, sign up for a Mac account. If you don't have an Apple ID, you're going to need to create one. And I'm going to take you to the screen that's going to show you what to do. So the first step is to go to Apple Developer forward slash iPhone in your web browser. And uh, this is going to take you to the iPhone Development Center. It offers uh, multiple different resources for the iPhone. I just clicked on that link. And this is the page that you're going to be presented with. Um, so if you don't have um, an Apple ID, go ahead and click on this register for a free Apple ID today. And I just clicked on it and I, you know, press on the get started and it'll run you through a bunch of steps and verifying your email address and stuff like that. And once you get one, uh, come back to the, uh, to the main screen here and click on the uh, login button. And um, as you can see, my ID is already in here from the last time I logged in. Uh, but um, put your ID in there and then put your password in here. Hopefully my password is going to work. Let's see. Click on the sign in. And it looks like it did work. And now I'm in the iOS Dev Center. And I see that there's a bunch of tutorials here, a bunch of uh, resources for iOS 5 going on here, getting starting videos. You can do all this stuff later on. Um, but what you want to do is kind of scroll to the bottom of the screen and the toughest decision is to figure out, well, what kind of Mac do I have and what kind of operating system? My Mac, uh, my MacBook Pro, I believe is, it's, it's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to go, it's Snow Leopard, so I'm going to need to go back to the Xcode 3. I know it's Snow Leopard in the About window, and 10.6.8, uh, which is the current um, Snow Leopard version, is, uh, this one here is going to essentially you know, be back in operating system. I think Lion is the, the most current one. Uh, so if you have the Lion version, go ahead and download that one, Xcode 4. If not, uh, if, you, if you have a brand new computer, you're going to have this one here, 10.7. But I have 10.6, so uh, this is also going to include, uh, no. I have a previous one, so I'm going to click on the download here for Xcode 3 for Snow Leopard. And luckily, Snow, Snow Leopard is still, I think Leopard is actually still supported as well. Um, my internet connection appears to be a bit slow. I've clicked on that link. Here we go. Here's the download uh, information here. So uh, as you can see, it's 4.1 gigabytes. So the download name, of, I want the three Xcode 3.2.6 and the iOS SDK 4.3 disk image. This is the one I'm going to want to download. This other one's going to be a little readme file. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this because I want to get this download started. and. Uh, now I can kind of see that this download here is going to take um, three hours and 41 minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is pause. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to end this particular video just to make sure because three hours later, I don't know if my recording software is going to be still working after a pause. Um, so I'll end this video and I'll start the next one on the install. But as you can probably see, this is kind of simple, actually. And while this is going on, I can I can go back here and uh, take a look at some of the those other options that are on this download screen. the The videos are are pretty cool. The coding how tos are. Um, I'm going to show you um, a lot more in terms of the language um, and in terms of the programming techniques. Uh, but this Xcode that we're downloading 
has everything in it. It's going to have the simulator in it. It's going to have the development environment, which is Xcode, and it is free. Uh, it's not like a shareware version of it or anything like that. It's 100% uh, full, fully compatible, fully functional. And um, it also has uh, all of the libraries and the things that we're going to need for iPhone as well as iPad and all of the, the iDevices. As actually, you can probably see in the description here, uh, the tool sets for the Mac, the iPhone, and the iPad. So. So go ahead and allow your download to complete. And uh, let's see, make sure mine is still going. There it is. So sit here, or don't sit here, wait for three hours. Maybe yours is gonna run a little faster. Wait for your download to complete and then come back and watch part two of this video. And uh, I'm gonna run through the install. This computer does not have Xcode or any of the iPhone application development tools on there. So this will be a fresh install. So we'll see what kind of problems I run into. Hopefully none, uh, but that will be part two. So thanks for watching part one. I know it's kind of short, uh, but at least it gets you to the download and gets you going.